over the road experience. If you do not know mountain driving, we can't use you. Welcome back, drivers, to the Recruiter Call channel. And in this MTC, we're going to be looking at Ross Car and Sons Logistics LLC. Ross Car Logistics LLC is owned by an older couple, and they're looking for you to team in their trucks. They are contracted with Gen X, and they're looking for you to have at least two years of experience, mountain driving, must have your hazmat and tanker and twig. They also want you to be experienced in mountain driving. You must have a clean driving record, must pass a background check, must have a clean DOT physical, as well as a clean drug test. Unfortunately, SAP drivers, they're not able to help you guys. So sorry about that. You must be able to drive eight hours a day. Be willing to team with the owner. You must be willing to stay out at least 21 days at a time and also have a stable job history. Unfortunately, Carolina residents, California residents, and Colorado residents, they will not be able to bring you on. They're looking for you after February, so around March. They're looking for you to come on, and they're looking for good, honest, open, straightforward drivers. If you guys are interested in Roscar and Sons Logistics LLC, stay tuned. Okay. Now, yes, and it is 14 driver. <clears throat> Basically, we are hiring starting in in February or March. We, my husband and I, we we own Roscar and Sons Logistics. We LLC. We contract with Genox Transportation of Deer Park, Texas. We service customers like uh, Air Gas, Besser, Matheson, Plug Power, Air Liquid, just different clients like like of that magnitude. We haul cryogenic tanks. There is some loading and unloading, and those liquid gases, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, uh, helium, argon, okay. gases of that nature. So what I have read, it says here that we have to team with the with the owner. Is that all the time, or is that just like some of the time? No, no. Basically, now me personally, I'm the sec. It's my husband and myself. I I'm looking for a female team with me because my husband is coming off of the road. So I'm looking for a female to team with me. However, okay, we okay, we, yeah. But, but how, however, we are hiring teams. So there's a, as a matter of fact, we have a, a couple of teams already that are waiting for the product to pick up. They have to, the big, every, they have to finalize other contracts and what have you. So, <clears throat> excuse me, once that's done, we're going to have, we have a couple of teams that we already have waiting. And now this is how this works. If you know someone or if you that you would like to team with that have the quality that meet our qualifications, you guys are more than welcome. We'll put you both in a truck together. And also, you have to. We can't. We we don't hire anyone out of North Carolina, California, or Colorado. Okay, I I see that. May I ask why? Well, because they have we we contract with Genos Transportation, and it's their it's their criteria, and they they. That's that they don't hire out of those states, and that's what we pretty much go by. I'm out of a Facebook group. That's the reason why I came across your post. Oh, you saw the post from C Trucking. Okay, I get, it. And, and I'm glad to know that that ad is circulating. Uh, and yes, we are encouraging women to apply. Now, I want, I need someone to team with me personally, but we already have someone that's applied for that. She's going through the process right now. However, yes, when once we're up and running, that is that is definitely the criteria. 
what they would do there was the every it says exactly what it what the post says is exactly what it is other than excuse me they would be teaming they would, they would be teaming to, we would put them together and uh, trauma would be delivered uh, which is a very clean operation the pay is good it's competitive pay i really i can't really you know it's 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 exactly what it says i see that it's very detailed so you guys are contracted but we will be getting Paid by for you guys, ten ninety nine, right? Ten ninety nine, exactly. You you would be you you. We're the contractors. You would be a subcontractor, pretty much. Where that's you wouldn't, wouldn't be like it's not like you're an employee. You just you just subcon. You you do a contract with Ross Partners on Logistics, and it it is what it is. It's great money. It's a, I was very clean. It's the easiest money anybody would ever make. How many trucks are you looking to fill? Well, right now we're looking to put on at least four. So you're looking to fill four, and you're looking for one to team with you directly? Yes, yes, pretty much, yes, directly. We also have an ad that we're running an ND for that. The only problem, it's not a problem, the only holdup has been this, that they're finalizing their contract. And it, it could be in the, this is my husband in the background. We're actually at home right now. We're finally, they're not just finalizing the contracts with these clients. Now we're basically on a client right now, excuse me. However, with this time of year, at the beginning of the year, you the know, first quarter. Yeah, the first quarter. First quarter, they're just wrapping up the fourth quarter. Uh, you know, records, doing all their reconciliation of the accounts. And, right. You know, all of that. First quarter is pretty much, you know, they're sifting through, you know, things are settling from the fourth quarter. So somewhere we're looking at between middle of January, which we're almost there now, to probably mid-February is when we can really concisely come up with a, a number of trucks that we hope to do because all of the drivers that are contracted with Gen X right now will be in but more or less in the positions that they're going to be in or on the accounts that they're going to be on, which will let us know where we can slide our additional trucks in. They may, they may not be on the account we're on, but Gen X has accounts all over the U.S. All over, all over the know, country. Like you say, we just can hire you know, we just don't hire North Carolina, Colorado, or, or California because for whatever the reason is, our carrier who happens to be Gen X does not do that. And we comply with whatever the things that they request of us because we, we've been with them going on three years, have a good relationship with them, and it's it's working. The money is over here. If it wasn't here, we wouldn't be here. Oh, Lord, no. I got but, you. I appreciate <laughs> that. I, I will definitely move this along for you guys. We're truck drivers, and I already know that the first of the year always slows down for everybody. So I usually don't pick Absolutely. back up until, like, March, April, May. So I, I totally understand what's going on and everything. So I just wanted to get a little bit more information so that I can add it, okay. add it to my platforms and get you guys out there and let people know that you're... No. Looking for people. Looking for good drivers. Now, what, Let's just say that. Oh yeah. Because we have we have very high standards. We yes, we have very high standards and we want drivers that are willing to come to operate in that same area in the same capacity in which we do. We'll never ask a driver to do anything that we don't do. As a matter of fact, my husband has been in the industry for uh since nineteen ninety nine. I left corporate America to do this in 2012. I've been, I've been a contractor. Uh, I think I, I was a company driver for 90 days when I started with Stevens Transport. My husband started off with Swift back in 99. So we have been in this industry co combined right at 30 years of experience. And we know what it's like. We know what this is. We're not just someone that says, let's just start a trucking company and sitting behind a desk. We know what this is out here. We know how hard this money is to come by. And, and to add to that, quite frankly, this is not our first uh, contracted with. Uh, we've contracted with other carriers such as um, Prime. Prime, First Rock, and those, at those carriers, we were always documented as being, if not the top, one of the top, we were the top. 
So, and that's, you know, that's documented. And we expect that from our drivers, even right. now at, at, at our age, you know, we're right. still. Yeah, we're successful. We've been in the business almost five years. We have a season we, website. I mean, we're, we're, you know, we're in good standings across the board. I mean, with the accounting services, the whole nine yards. So we really look for drivers that can that can be at this level. I mean, and everybody's not going to do it. I mean, if when we talk to them, some of them, you know, we like we're talking to you. And so right now we're developing a a a, a rapport, just initial rapport. Exactly. Well, some of them take that and they realize that we're black and they're black and that they they think that are or they 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 behave in a manner that they would not behave if they were talking to a white owner and that's unacceptable over here we our standards are above most most employers and that way that's that's to justify the uh, the amount of money that we pay our drivers and we do profit share after 90 days and if they stay right, we give our bonuses yeah and if they stay longer they will just they would they would be foolish to leave our company. That's why we got it set up because we're very competitive. We've I've already we've already done our analysis of the industry. We 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 check the record and see what they're offering. And this and we have uh, new equipment. And I'm just saying it'd be foolish. It'd be foolish for them to go and work elsewhere. And we're not and we're not looking for exactly the revolving door thing. So, right. but however, we're not hard to deal with. We're not hard to deal with at all. All we're looking for are drivers that take ownership of these loads, take ownership of this equipment, to get it, to keep it in mind it's your responsibility is to protect the motor in public, to get this, to get these tanks from point A to point B without killing yourself or somebody else. We don't expect drivers to drive in inclement weather. We don't expect drivers to do anything that we would not do. That's however, good. yeah, you, you know, you're right. And however, our deal is that. You can make as much money as we, we're going to pay your base. We also, we, we as my husband said, we uh, allow them to participate in profit sharing. My husband, I'm 64. My husband's 65. We're looking to 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 build something very strong so that we can get out of this and have and and we still, can we road. can come off the road. Right. But this is our life. Right. We like to do. This we're is, good at what we do. We right. like what we do. But it's time to for right. us to work more and, on the business than in the business, and to give an opp- give opportunity for growth. It's just that simple. Right. I, you know, the whole notion people succeed when they help others too. It, you learn that over time. It's not all about what you can get. It's also about how you can give. And so we're not trying to make money off of one truck and like that because we know what drivers what they need. We don't want you out here. Just, you know, living from paycheck to paycheck and all that kind of stuff. We want you to be able to really feel like, hey, you know, I'm somewhere where I can, you know, have a sustainable life, you know. And we we worked at a couple of companies that were actually like that. Hurstbach used to be like that way back in the day before 2015. They were the darling of the industry. Okay. But then, they, you know, and then they started evolving, you know, being more competitive and they, they cut back, which they lost. For me, they lost that status. And then we drove for companies that were that are still good. Well, I mean, you know, we haven't driven for a lot of companies. Well, I mean, we're contracted, right? Contracted. I right. mean, with the companies that I we have, contract, with, right? You know, so just now, which, sitting, which, just sitting which, here which, listening, which, just sitting here listening to you guys speak passionately about what you guys are doing. I mean, I it. it and you and sir you are exactly right because a lot of a lot of drivers of our color they they mm-hmm. think a certain way like oh okay well they're they're my color and i know they can understand this that and the third but then they always take it the wrong way they always take it the wrong way right. and then when it is and then when it does go south then they blame they 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 use that card against us right well well they that's why we don't that's why we don't mess with we don't mess with our own color because this that and the third but you guys have a standard you guys have a standard and y'all need a driver to meet that standard and how how hard is it that's right how hard is it because you guys been doing this for for five years and I'm sure you guys came across some some not so good drivers. 
How hard is oh it to God. find them? How how hard is it to find these drivers and to vet these drivers and to make sure that these drivers are to your standards? It's very hard. Conservatively, we have gone through well over 500 resumes, sifted down to four, ended up down to two, and on a night of orientation, one of the two... Night before orientation. Yeah, yeah night before orientation, called and asked for an additional extension of a week prior to coming to and then come to find out that he was trying to detox before he came to orientation. I got him to say that. I got him to admit to that. And he thought I was that I was going to be cool with that. Like, okay, you take a week, go ahead and detox and come back. But see, we're talking about teams here. And this and is we, our company. And this is our company. We would not jeopardize our business or that person who we're going to be teaming you with. I mean, it's just, it, see, they wouldn't, they wouldn't lay down a dream that if I was not black. They they thought it was we were cool like that. I was like, I'm never that cool. Mm-hmm. That was going to be yeah, my was, that was going to be my other question as well. How do you guys feel about SAP drivers? Do you guys help them out no, or we don't? Or, oh, we, we don't. Yeah, we don't, don't take them. I'll carry you one. I'll carry you one. Do it, and, and because you must you must understand, these tanks are worth 1.5 million dollars empty. They're worth twice that much full. They're top heavy. It's a very high center of gravity. And basically, it's just no, there's just no room for any oopses or errors or any of that. And, and, and here's the thing. They're very, and I don't blame it. Gen X has a very, they, they do a very deep dive. And, and if you're, if you have anything to do with drugs, I mean, okay. first of all, here's my thing. Here's, and this is my husband and I, the way we look at it. This is your CDL. This is your life. Why would you smoke some weed knowing that you're operating an 80,000 pound missile? Something you could kill yourself or somebody. So that's telling me that you're not taking your career seriously. And hey, hey, listen, well, listen. My, my husband loves weed. I used to. He used, I mean, he, he used to love it. I never, in other words, I never stopped liking it. He never stopped liking it. But I, but I made it. Choice exactly. Year, many years ago. Exactly. To, to decide to be in the industry or uh, join normal society or go around doing what most people have done, you know, trying to detox, taking all these fancy, fancy things that they say you can go test and they'd be undetectable, which nowadays they know. they These tests, once they, 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 they know it, they detect those things that try to camouflage yeah. that. Then you got people using other people's urine. And I'm like, you know what? That's not the way to do it. Do it. Just don't do it. And here's my thing. Let a beer and a shot be good enough for you. And here's here's my thing. I told my husband, I say, listen, when you retire, you know, I'll have a tree house built out in the backyard. And you can go out and smoke as much weed as you want. It's I not, know. it's and not saying he wants to do it. I mean, I'm just saying, listen, it's about choices. It's about, it's about. It's just about choices. Like where we are, where, we, where each one of us are exactly. in life is based on decisions that we make. If you decide to do, if you think that you're going to come here and, 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 you know, we find out that you are, that you have drugs in your system or cannot pass our screening, that's one of the reasons why people are upset. They, they, they fail random or they decline taking those tests, taking the, the drug test. And that's on them that's because okay. you shouldn't even come to this industry with that in your system. You're not serious coming into the system or you, somebody didn't inform you that this is a very real system. It's a real system. And, and the you know. DLT, you know, and DLT does random tests. And I think SAP keeps you, I think, you know, I think SAP is 10 years of life. I think that stays with you. I don't know. I think it's six months or years. No, it, it, the so SAP program. Once once a person comes out of the SAP program after they complete its step six, I believe it stays on their record for an additional five years. If I'm not mistaken, I might be wrong yeah. on that, but I, I do believe it's between three or five years. It's long enough to hurt you. It's long enough to hurt you. Yeah, very right. much so. <laughs> yeah, very much so. Yeah. Because a lot of companies that I've talked to, some some of them, they did say, yeah, we'll take you, but it has to be done, clear, and you're out of the SAP program period. But we, we still got some young no. drivers out here that's coming out here and 
and they flunk in the, the the drug tests even at even on the school level. They they go into oh they go God. into trucking school. I, they go in, they they go into the drug test. They flunk the drug test, but they already paid their money for the school, so of course they're going to get their CDL. But they they already right. blacklisted because they're in the SAP program. So right. yeah, yeah, it's 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 crazy right. out here. And for you guys to uphold your standards and everything, it's it's kind of hard to find decent drivers. Now let me ask right. you this, ma'am. Uh, you did mention the fact that you're you're looking for a, a female the team. I, I talk to a lot of different drivers, and some prefer females, some prefer males. You you prefer a female? Have you ever teamed with a female before, or would, would, what's your thoughts going into that? Well, I was a trainer, first of all. Uh, when I first, for the very first time, I, I guess I'm, I'm not, uh, you may call me old-fashioned, uh, but I call, when I first went out, I uh, started with Stevens Transport back in 2012. I waited three weeks for a female trainer. And the reason that I did that is because I wanted to be able to focus. I wanted to, I didn't want to have any problems or what have you. I wanted to be able to sleep at night, you know, because I've heard so many, I heard so many stories. Even when I first started in training at Stevens, I heard so many stories of how the trainers would try to get the, the women to, I mean, the, the the partners would try to get women to get the women to sleep with them, uh, sexually harass them and all this, what have you. And I just, I just didn't have time for any of that, any of that kind of stuff. And I didn't want to take a chance on that. So I prefer the female trainer. I'm going to step out of the office for a minute. And my husband, and, and, and I'm, by my being married, by my being married, I would prefer, and my husband would prefer, that I team with the female. And I was not half team with female before because I was a trainer. So I understand the uh, dynamics of of teaming. Period. I mean, you're in close quarters. You're you're living. You're in a closet. You're in a closet on wheels. And there may be some female. And it's close proximity. Now you said there are women that team with men. I mean, I, I know there, right. there 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 have been there. Have, we, in fact, we're hiring a team with the male and the female. They're 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 not in a relationship. They're just friends. That's fine. If they choose to do that, great. Yeah. That's on them. Yeah, we have a very strict sexual harassment policy in our right, and we will enforce it. Either way, if it's if it's her going after him or him going after her, there will be mutual respect if you're going to be affiliated with Ross Carnes on Logistics LLC. No one is going to be made to feel uncomfortable. We don't care what your gender orientation is, if you're gay, if you're straight, if you're transgender, if you're, we don't care. However, there will be respect, and no one is going to be made to feel uncomfortable. Now, it's my preference to team with the female because I'm married and because I don't have time to, 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 to have to correct a young man about his behavior. So that's why I do it that way. It works for me. All right. Well, hey, thank you very much for your time. What's the name of the company again? We're Ross Carr and Son Logistics. I'm going to tell you honestly how many women have contacted me from sea trucking, and I have to tell them no. Because another deal we've had, I'm going to tell you, I started driving in 2012. I've driven for, for let's see, I did two contracts. I did one contract. With Stevens Transport, I did a contract. I did three terms of co- three contracts with uh, Fresh Box Motor Line. I did a contract with Prime, and now I'm with Gen I. So what what what's hard for a lot of these young ladies to understand? I try to tell them. Listen, because the problem that stops them from coming into Gen I is because you can't have six. You can't drive. You can't have driven for five or six companies in the past three years. It just doesn't work that way. You can't, some, some, one young lady in the past three years had driven for eight different companies. And it's most of these are the, the Serbians up out of Chicago. And I try to tell them, listen, get with the, first of all, protect your CDL so that you can drive for a reputable company. Just because you get in there and you see something that you don't like, you have to understand that you have something to offer, that they need you. Figure out how to make it work. 
That's what I've done. That's why I haven't been to all these different companies. That's why I can go anywhere. You know, I haven't gotten tickets for speeding in construction zones. I haven't gotten overweight scale tickets. You know, these are things that you have to look at. One lady told me, she said, you mean, so it's, oh, it's normal for a woman to, it's normal for women to drive for at least six or seven companies in a three-year period. I said, I didn't, that's no, that's not normal to me. No, that's, that's not normal at all. That's not normal at all. That's, that's not, but I guess some people feel that when they're trying to find their footing with a company, they just can't. They just can't get their foot. They can't get their foot in the right door. Well, let me tell you. Let me. I get that. I get that. Let me tell you something, sir. When I started Seamus Transport, I was. They were paying me twenty five cents a mile. I had to build my craft. It was a reputable company. They said if you stay a year, you can go anywhere. I started with that company. They tried to get me to go to be a contract. I said, I don't even know how to buy fuel. I didn't even know how to buy fuel. So once I learned how to buy fuel, once I learned how to, how to the freight lanes, it's like a salesperson. A salesperson knows their product. If you know your product, you can sell your product. You can sell your product with confidence. And you're going to continue to build on that. You have to start somewhere. So that's what I did. I was 51 years old. I had big bills. But I knew that if I stayed with this and I learned this and, and asked as many questions as I could, I, I went to YouTube. I did all kinds of stuff, but I knew that I had to stay where I was. And in and, and 90 days, I became a contractor. I went from 25 cents a mile to 85 cents a mile. But I knew how to buy fuel then. I knew all of these things. And then I started to to. to I learned how to maneuver in this in the industry. I built relationships and what have you. Did I like everything that they did? No, I did not. This, were there times I wanted to quit and drive away, say forget about it, I'll go somewhere else? Almost every day. But I'm so glad that I didn't. Because listen, now, if, if someone told me, Harold, we'll offer you 25 cents a mile, I'll, I'll just tell you, you really stand up with a straight face now. So I'll pay my dues. I know what I'm worth. I know my value. And now, between me and my, hus- my husband and myself, we do very well. We do very well. We made over, we made over, we made over a half a million dollars last year because we know, because we paid our dues. You see what I'm saying? So sometimes you have to put up with that. You have to learn how to take that lemon and make it into lemonade. Running is not always the option. Because it can hurt you. And it's and there's so many ladies out there. There's so many people out there that this is happening to. So I'm, I'm not saying I'm better than anybody, young man. I'm not saying that I, I'm not saying that I'm better than anybody, young man. I'm not saying that that, that any of these things that, that this has been easy. I'm not saying any of that. But it's very disappointing to me when I want to give somebody an opportunity. I want to give you an opportunity. But I can't for those reasons. I've had ladies come to me. One lady, I mean, I literally took her into a safety meeting. I literally took her before the safety director. I was pulling so hard for this lady. I got her off of sheet trucking. Oh, my God. When she literally, she was, she admitted to driving on someone else's laws. I'm like, oh, my God. I said, so, okay. But you did learn from that, right? I mean, I had to literally try to walk you're in a meeting with the safety director. Yeah. And she was not forthcoming with me. I really was pulling for this lady. And come to find out, they took, they put it through training and everything. They, I mean, they're not strangers. We, I, I give, I given her the, the PPE, everything, you name it. I mean, we just rolled out the red carpet before. When it came time for her to roll out with me, I get a call from the safety director and said, Carol, we tried everything that we could have said, but the, the company that the lady said that she drove for for two years, they said, Carol, it's a trucking company. I said, what? There wasn't a trucking company. So it's just people have been dishonest and what have you. Rufus and I are not, we're, we're not snobs at all. We're just, we, we you know, if we can't, 
if we can't bring you in, we can't bring you in. And, and some, and, and a lot of these, if you do not have two years of over the road experience, if you do not know mountain driving, we can't use you. These are 56, 50, the, these tanks max out of 59,000, sometimes 60,000 pounds loaded. And we, we run the West Coast. We run the East Coast. <laughs> if you don't know mountain driving, I don't care how much I like you. I'm not going to, I'm not going to allow you to get out there and kill yourself or, or me or somebody else. So I, I, I say, I like to say this. I'm not trying to take up too much of your time. Uh, no, no, no. Um, I'm, in, I'm, I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying the conversation. No, 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 ma'am. I, this is a beautiful conversation because I mean, again, it's, it's very rare that I come across, come across people of your, of your stature. That's, that's very open. That's very honest and very passionate about not only their yeah. their company but the industry as a whole and a lot of these and a lot of these drivers that's that that's looking for i i hear what they saying i talk to a lot of them they they all say the same mm -hmm. thing we're looking for a good company what's lockout what is a good company and i got one here for you but you guys just treat them any kind of way y'all not open y'all not honest y'all not straightforward Y'all say one oh. thing, y'all say one thing to get in the door, they treat you well. And then when y'all get with them, y'all pocket watching and y'all 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 upset because y'all not getting what they're getting. And you and for some and for some kind of way, y'all leave their trucks on the side of the road. Or y'all leave them oh. in a situation that they have to yeah. spend more money to 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 get out of. And it's it and it's hard. It's, it's real hard. I'm not even the You're owner. Right. Listen, I'm not even the owner operator, and I and I know what owner operators mm. go through. <laughs> so you know, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, and we literally we had, I, we we were done. We were running day cabs uh, with Jim Knox. We we put on three trucks and we were foot feet and. We hired this brother and sister. We brought him in a training. We brought this other guy in a training. Two, we, it, was, it was like, we had six people in training. We had the trucks guy. We put the trucks out there. And, oh, my God, when it came time, we had them positioned in various places. Some was going to be out of Dallas. Some was out, up there out of, um, up, up, up off of 183, Midlothian, and out of Midlothian. When some was out of Midlothian. Well, when it was time for the brother and sister to go pick up their load, they were nowhere to be found. And I called and I said, "Okay, guys, listen, what's going, what's 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 going on? You know, why are you guys not in position? You got to go pick this 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 uh, a tank up." Well, the brother decided he wanted to quit, and I told the sister, "I say, well, okay, well, that's him. We'll, you know, you can take the truck and and go ahead and do what you have to do, and we'll make this work." So she said she was gonna leave and go pick the truck up. I mean, go 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 come back down to Stafford, Texas, and pick the tank up. And I was, and I'm, and she said she's getting ready to leave. So I'm looking at the weather. I'm a weather watcher. So I, I was looking at the weather. And I saw her say, "Listen, you have got a really strong wind storms coming up." I said, "Going south on 45." I said, "Listen, what I want you to do." I told her, "I said if you have to, just wait before you start your clock. It's going to be about two hours before that passes." And then uh, Bob tell down there to get that tank. I say, because I don't want you to, to I don't want you out there slipping and sliding, especially Bob telling in the day cab. We can't have that. So she was like, well, I haven't left the house yet. You haven't left. The, you, you, you haven't. I said, oh, okay, well, that's fine. I said, so, well, in fact, I'm still in the bed. I said, wait a minute. I thought I was catching you at the truck stop before you pulled out. <laughs> I didn't know you were still over the bed. And I said, so what's going on? Then she decided that. She didn't want to do it. I mean, I hear this young lady. She was trying to get a, they were trying to get a house. And I told her, I said, listen, you know, I can't give you a letter saying that you've been with us 10 months. I can't do that. But I will, we will give you a job, you know, and we'll give you a letter showing how much, give them a, a, a letter you can show them how much you're going to be making and all of that. We did everything that we could. So at the end of the day, what happened is they left us hanging. They quit. And because the brother quit. And come to find out the brother had his own truck that was broke down. They just wanted to, 
work long enough to get money to get his truck fixed. And we're like, we're not, no, that's not what this is. I understand what you're trying to do, but that's not what this is, though. So basically, he quit. They didn't They didn't do it. And then when it came time to close on the house, I get a phone call. Miss Rouse, can you do me a favor? Another black, 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 black folks. Can you do me a favor? I said, well, what can I do for you? And she said, ask me to give them a letter saying that we still work for them and so on and so forth. I said, well, first of all, I was taken aback because how can you call me? And, and and be so presumptuous to think that we're going to jeopardize our business, our integrity, and and put this letter out here for you so that you could buy a house, number one, because all that stuff can come back on us, on our company. How could you ask us to jeopardize that? And you didn't, and, and first of all, even if you were working for us, we told you we gave you all documentation that we could give you at this time, but you abandoned our truck, which is exactly what they did. You abandoned our truck that we still have to pay for. You, you, we had to contact Denox and tell them that our truck could not fulfill the obligation that we had committed to, all of the above. But because we were black, she thought that that was so okay. And that, that's, that's, it, it wasn't okay. We had another young man, he running up in Midlothian hauling argon. I don't know if you knew about anything about argon, but it's a very, it's a very volatile substance gas and the man that was training him to load and unload it could understand what is going on with this guy and when i would talk to him i say you know it's something going on with you and somehow he passed he got through that drug screen but the guy was smoking weed and he openly admitted it we're like well you can openly um, thank you for being honest about it you can park your truck and don't get back in it we'll send somebody up there to get it so this was we lost so much money on these people, another guy, we had a Mexican guy, Hispanic. I don't like to say Mexican, but a Hispanic fella. He owned his own truck, and we were telling him, but his truck was broken down. And we were telling him, we say, well, you know, we're kind of iffy about hiring owner-operators with broken down trucks, because generally their goal is to get the truck up and running again, which I'm not mad at you, but this isn't the place to do it, though. So the guy came, oh, no, I'm not doing that, Mr. Ross. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's not what I'm doing. This guy read and delivered the argon, and they called us the next morning saying, he's not, where's the driver? He's supposed to go deliver this tank. Then I called us. So we reached out to him, never could get him. So his wife reached out to me and said that he was on a plane going to North Carolina to pick up his brand new truck. So this is why we also are not real big on owner operators. We have really been burned a lot trying to help people of color. It's, it's just been a nightmare. But we're not going to give up. I, I thank <laughs> you for the conversation. Yes. I know you guys are yes, busy are. and everything, so thank you very much for the time. I, I will definitely share this information. Anytime we can help out, just let us know. You have a good day, and thank you so much for reaching out. Ross Car Logistics, LLC, everybody. Hey, what more can I say? They've been in business since 1999. They're looking for good, honest drivers so you can get a good, honest money. Thank you very much, Ross Car Logistics LLC, for sitting down with the lockout men. Beautiful conversation. They are open, they're honest, and they're looking for you. Until next time, everybody. Who's next? Next, 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 next.